it's your girl ebony and i'm back with another video another message another level of understanding another word from the most high god okay a lot of us have been going through um i don't want to say a spiritual awakening hold on scratch all that let's pray real quick Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you today, Lord God. I ask that you bless this word, Lord God. I ask that it reaches your people's heart, Lord God, that their heart may be changed, Lord, Lord God, that their heart may be conditioned, oh God, and to a new, Lord God, to accept what it is, Lord God, to access this for their life, oh God. I come today, Lord God, I ask that your Holy Spirit cover us, Lord God, because that is the only way that we can remain pure in you, Lord God. And that we follow you, Jesus, that we follow you along this um, dark space in our life, that we follow you along the road that we cannot see the path. God, I ask that you allow us comfort in this time, Lord God. Allow us comfort to know that we're going to be okay, that we're safe. God, that you have us wrapped around. You have us, um, you're wrapping your arms around us in the time of need. Lord God, let us know that our path will be made straight. Our path will be made clear in this time as we're trusting you, okay? In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Now, this is um, a great word, an informational word, a word of courage, a word of wisdom, a word to be anew, right? Many of us are going through a time frame in our life where we have been feeling the attacks from the spiritual realm and our gifts are becoming strong. Um, strengthening at this time god is doing something in our life in our promised land right we many of us have reached our promised land right and so we um i remember last week i made a video about filling up our promise promised land and placing all these things into our promised land that is um Try to plan ahead. We're trying to plan ahead of God. We're trying to move ahead of God. And it's just in the thrill of understanding that we have made it, right? But God gave me a revelation. God says that the reason we're trying to plan, the reason we're trying to do everything ahead of God, the reason we're trying to fill these, this space that God has opened in this time up is because we have been um, gaining new spiritual um, gifts. Our gifts has been enhancing and everything. They're getting stronger, right? And so... God, it dawned on me today. God said he has arrived. God has arrived. Y'all better say thank you, Lord. Y'all better say thank you, Jesus. Y'all better say thank you, Yeshua. Y'all better say thank you, Most High God. Y'all better say thank you to to our kingdom because God has just showed up. And the reason you've been trying to fill these voids and fill these spaces and fill this land up with all of your ideas is because you have felt the presence of the Holy Spirit letting you know God is here. God has just touched down on your kingdom. God has just touched down in your promised land. God has just arrived on ship. He has arrived. Stop playing the most high is here and he's getting ready to do a thing for you. He's getting ready to do a thing for you. That's why you feel feeling that way that you're feeling that's why you're going through all the utmost that you've been going through that's why the spiritual attack has been getting stronger trying to come at you with all type of things attacks on your family oh god i rebuke it in the name of jesus attacks on everything that is in your finances oh god i rebuke it in the name of jesus attacks on your vehicle your transportation i rebuke it in the name of jesus just know that god is fighting for you god always wins the battle god already knows what what's going on in your life before you do it is your job to trust god it is your job to hold on to the the promises of the heart of god to know that the the will alignment for your life is already taken care of that the battle was already won yet before you because you were created already ahead of time god has the time okay and so in this season of our lives god is doing a new thing there are going to be people that's coming god showed me a dream okay in this dream it was old people from the past trying to reoccur in your life trying to find their place in your life trying to say that they know you trying to say that they've been there for you trying to say that they are with you and they've always been there trying to say that um trying to attach themselves to you and it's not even the people that you focus on it's the familiar spirits that's in the spiritual realm coming from coming from the um demonic realm trying to enter into your new promised land trying to find a way for you to allow the door to be open to it but god says don't even fret about it don't worry about it don't even um um don't cast your fears upon the lord god says cast your fears the holy spirit says cast your 
your fears upon the Lord for God already knows what he has for you. God already knows he gave you a dream. He gave you a hope. He gave you a future and a vision. He already know the plans that he made for you to prosper. So it's not your job to try and go ahead and fight the battle. It's not your job to go into the physical realm and take what you are experiencing within the heart place out into the world. It's your job to change. It's your job to go within yourself and make yourself um, clean. Go and be, be one with the Holy Spirit so the Holy Spirit can pure your heart it's your job to take everything that you did in your um upbringing and to change it and make it anew it's not condemnation condemnation i am so sorry it's not condemnation god don't want to condemn you he want to heal you god don't want to condemn you he want to heal you he want to bring you out of what was wrong he want to bring you out of what what held you back he want to bring you out of what stopped you he want to bring you out of everything that um said that you couldn't do such a thing he want to bring you out of the things that was in your mind that said you couldn't be more than what you are today he want to bring you out of that mindset he want to take you into a new place place in order to go to a new place you gotta uh, share skin you gotta share skin you gotta be ready to lose some people you gotta be ready to stretch and grow you gotta be ready to give up what you was comfortable with you gotta be ready to go ahead and do what God say when God say do it you gotta be ready to go and shape into the new person that God has already been calling that you were destined to be from from when you left heaven you were destined to be you were always spiritual first you were always a, a spiritual being first okay but understand we wrestle not against flesh and blood but spiritual wickedness in high places and demonic realms and spiritual realms this bible read your bible whenever you feel the threats of the enemy coming up against you read your bible pick your bible up let you understand that everything in this world that comes up against you all the attacks of the enemy that is sent towards you all the things trying to take you out in your mind and your heart to bring you back to a setback uh, mindset to make you think that you haven't elevated to make you think that you're not on the ship with God to make you think you're not walking on water right now because this is a walk on water moment for you God says when he landed on your promised land that y'all landed on shore that it was time to come up out of that situation that it was time for you to stop um doubting yourself that it was time for you to believe again that it was time for you to accept what he already done said your life is to be that you were set apart from this world that you were supposed to walk with him that you gotta have your Peter moment and step out on the water that you can't look at the crowd and surround yourself with hurt and, and disvalue and things that don't lo no longer serve you about the past and the things that happened God said let it all go and walk forward be ye anew be transformed because guess what in Jeremiah I'm going to read when you not circumcising uh, in God when your heart is not made pure in God when you don't change that um heart and you only sit over here um um focusing on the law of yourself the exterior parts of yourself the things that you do by law the things that you do that you feel like you egotistically right that you just as it served okay you can do all that on the surface but when it ain't healed on the inside baby you ain't and you ain't equal with you ain't equally yoked within yourself so how could you be equal equally yoked within god so all these things and all these places trying to take you back to a place where you once were you already became one with god you became one with yourself ain't no need to go back if somebody wants you they better meet you where you at they better meet you at the mindset that you are in they better meet you at the finances that you are in they better meet you in the whole place that you are in. They better meet you in the faith that the faith that you have now. Okay, I gotta go. But this message is powerful. I hope that it reach all of you guys. Jeremiah 4 4 it says circumcise yourself to the Lord circumcise your hearts you men of Judah and people of Jerusalem of my wrath will break out or my wrath sorry or my wrath will break out and burn and you will burn like fire because of the evil you have done and and what what, what do you feel when your heart when your heart if your heart is oh baby if you burn it like fire God God knows the heart God searches the heart God says repent and have an inward change just like Paul says True circumcision is a matter of the heart performed by the Spirit of God, which means the Holy Spirit is the only one that can cleanse that heart, change that heart. You hear me? So you you wait to experience the wrath of God and don't repent for whatever sin you ever did. Every dark, deep place of when you was in a dark and you didn't see back then. If you don't repent to God, baby, you will never be healed. Baby, you will never see your promised land. Baby, you will never understand what God truly wants you to become. You will never understand how great you are. It's all in the purpose to become great it's all in the purpose to get all the darkness off of you it's all in the purpose to stop letting the enemy trick your mind to make you think that you're not loved to make you think that 
you're you don't have anybody to make you think that every wrong can't be made right you have to go within yourself and accept the certain things that you may have gone through the or certain things that you may have seen the certain things that have changed and afflicted your heart from the pain and all the slave slave mindsets of what you was doing during that time you were in a dark space you were in a dark place so you couldn't see god god understands that but you got to change that mind change that heart you got to be real with god from the in and the out you can't just be all uh, real on the front you can't be worried about what people think about you can't be worried about the image you can't be worried about everything that um surface minds were about you can't be worried about this friend that uh uh uh, uh, uh waver away from you can't worry about none of that all you gotta do is be one with god that's all you gotta do and in this promised land you ain't even gotta feel it god about to feel it he just dropped a new he just dropped a, a new load from heaven's doors down on your promised land. When he came down and arrived, when God came down and arrived on your promised land, baby, he brought some gifts with him. God come bearing gifts. Understand that. Understand that. And that's all I got to say. Peace.